Well, we're we're all here, right? Yeah. All. So you want to start the meeting? I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, I'd like to call the meeting to order Parks and Recreation Commission Tuesday, August 11th at 7.03 p.m. Um, number two, can we stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? Oh, I don't really want to stand, but sure. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Hang on. Okay, item number three, approval of the agenda for August 11th, 2020. I'll make a motion to approve the agenda. Oh. I'll second it. Mm, I don't know who seconded it, sorry. <laughs> okay, uh, motion to approve the agenda by Commissioner Paletti, seconded by Commissioner Stein. Uh, I'll approve. <laughs> Hi. Hi. That please. All right, number four, approval of the minutes from July 7th, 2020. Did anybody get them? I, um, I, I did. I got them. I looked at them briefly. <laughs> Looks like they were. Good. Okay to me. Yeah, I'll make a motion to approve yeah. them. I'll second. Okay, motion to approve the minutes by Commissioner LaCasse, if that's how you say your last name. Okay, yeah. <laughs> seconded by Commissioner yeah. Sutherland. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Let me know, David, if you didn't get them, because all I did was reply to everybody from the email before that. So if you didn't get it, then something's going on we'll figure it out okay it's not a not an issue <laughs> um item number five fraser parks and recreation and senior center gratitude um not necessarily the senior center but i want to thank everybody who worked the election um i was able to help out with the receiving board and i saw a little bit about like what they were doing during the day and you know especially during this time it, it's a lot of work it's it's you know a very needed position so everybody who did the election you know kudos to them that it was it was a big election i uh, also want to thank our van driver kurt again uh he's just fantastic we've been blessed probably the past decade or two uh, with really amazing van drivers who really care so um kurt and ron who is you know on leave right now Kurt's been doing fantastic, um, helping out, you know, the seniors, being really personal. And, and for some people, he's the only person that they see. So huge thanks to him. Obviously, to all the first responders um, during this time. Um, I want to thank uh, Frazier first. I went by the park um, and I, I saw a lot of kids on the park and they were all social distancing. Um, but it just really put into perspective how far that place has come. Um, I saw some old pictures from before, like with the old equipment, and I was just, you know, I, I should post them. I should post them on Facebook because it really um, brings a, a very big light to what, how much you guys have done. Uh, it's just night and day from what it was. So thank you to Fraser First and the Farmer's Market uh, for having a wonderful market. Um, this past weekend. It was beautiful weather. There was a lot of vendors and if you weren't able to make it out there, then please make it out next time because it, it was a very nice event. And thank you to Nancy and Alyssa um, and all the volunteers that help with that. So those are my gratitudes. All right, moving on. Item number six, report on parks. Yes, so um, the I don't know if you guys have seen on Facebook, but the, the tennis courts have been resurfaced and they mm -hmm. look amazing. Awesome. Yeah, they do look great. 
I was skeptical. I, I thought, how, how are you going to fix up these courts without taking the, them out and, you know, repouring them? But they did it. They, they look brand new. So um, the courts are in at uh, Stephens and Pompo. Um, Pompo and Stephens both have uh, pickleball courts, um, so dual lines. So those are completed. Um, the bathroom locks are completed and fully functioning now. Um, and then I have an update for the playground equipment. Let me pull up that email. Uh, okay. Uh, so the purchase order was signed and submitted on June 23rd for the equipment. Um, it's the equipment is expected to be received in the next week or two. Um, and I have, they set an installation date for September 14th, but Nick said, um, you know, with contractors and, and construction that could always change, you know, if we get a string of bad weather. Um, so it's a flexible date, um, but I'll definitely let you guys know when that firm start date is. Um, the company, Great, Great Lakes uh, Recreation, they're saying that they will be done by the end of September, but Nick said, we're, we're gonna, give them a little bit of leeway we're, we're everything will be done by act, end of October. Um, so that's the pathways and the playgrounds. Uh, for so both parks? Uh, for both parks, yep. So October will be, will be our month that this will all be done and then we can start on the next parks. And I think that was pretty much it. Is there any questions or any, anything? You said the equipment and the pathways? Mm-hmm. They're working together so they're able to install them. Um, if not the same time, then one right after the other. But yes, everything will be done by the end of October. How exciting. Mm -hmm. I just so exciting. happened to drive by the one in Huntington Woods the other day. It's the same as the equipment we're getting. And it just, I didn't realize where I was because I'm not that familiar with West Side. <laughs> um, and I just caught it out of the corner of my eye and I was like, what a nice park. And I was like, oh, hey, we're getting that park. <laughs> well, that's so, not the one we're getting. That's not the one we're getting. Yeah, they the one in Wellington the, Woods. Not oh. the natural one. They went with Wait, the what? other one. Was, they went with the other one because it was more colorful. They went they with the first one. We, we went with little tykes. I thought, oh, the, okay, the never first mind. presentation. <clears throat> Yes. We presented so, both of them, or both were presented. We wanted both of them to be presented, but they chose the colorful one. Hmm. It was more expensive too, but right. Okay. Must have missed that from the last meeting. Well, that was at uh, city council decided. Uh, oh yeah, I didn't watch that. Okay. <laughs> well, still exciting. <laughs> it's a nice. It's still gonna be nice. It's gonna, gonna be, be nice. It's gonna be very nice. Commissioner nice. Baruby. Um, is DPW pulling out the pathways as well as the equipment? The equipment, yes. The pathways, I don't believe so. Um, I can double check with Nick. Uh, but I know the equipment DPW is pulling out. Um, Are the pathways going to go in the same spot that they're in right now? Not necessarily. They're going to go around the new equipment. Okay. Would I, you, I can get a like maybe a schematic from him and I can send it out. Would that be something you guys I know would with Pompo? With Pompo, there's two entrances and there's a pathway all the way back behind the tennis courts and around the swing set and then um, towards the north. And that's where the um, other equipment's going to be installed. So the pathway will go all the way around the back? Yeah, well that that's like a feature. So they're not gonna get rid of any like the features. So when I say it's not gonna be like right on top of the pathways, where it needs to be moved, it'll be moved. But like how, for example, at Somerset, there's like a little bit of a loop that you can walk. They're not gonna get rid of that. It just may not be, well, that might be in the same place, but around the playgrounds, it might change. So I'll just I'll just get a schematic and, and email it out to you guys. Um, but definitely, like we aren't making the walking area smaller. Um, we're not limiting 
our our amenities out there. Question of sign, sorry. It's okay. Um, so they're gonna leave the old pass and make new pass. Is that what you're saying, or am I? I'm not understanding either. I apologize. Well, they're gonna rip out the pathways. Okay. If they don't, if they can lay it where it was, and they it was, would, they might redo it. But okay. around the around the playground areas, I think they have to redo it a little. Where? Okay, where I see. I thought you meant they were gonna leave the old and put a new one. Okay, I understand. That. No. Okay. Yeah, but it's just questionable at the south south end of Pompo. Okay, I, I think it's a schematic. It's a pocket park. Okay, funny. <laughs> Commissioner Bogdan, you had your hand up. Do you still have a question? Uh, the, a comment? Going back to the park equipment, was that decided at the last city council meeting? That uh, they so before that. So it wouldn't have been July, it would have been June. Okay, thank you. Any more questions? Okay. Moving on to number seven, volunteer group reports. Seven A updates on McKinley Barrier Free Park. So of course not much because we can't do any kind of huge event. Um, we did have a, a raffle that was a huge success, totally sold out. So thank you to everybody that purchased tickets. Um, and we had some more donations. So we were able to give the grand prize plus six other like constellation prizes. So we thought that was pretty cool. So really <coughs> seven people won that raffle out of the 400. So that's really good odds. Um, so I just want to say thank you to all the people that um, bought tickets for supporting us. Um, right now we are working on still, we got the bricks. If you, anybody ordered a brick the last couple months, those bricks been put in and they are all in and shined and put the sand around them and everything. So those are all installed. Um, we are um, waiting for Brian, which is the guy that's going to be doing our landscaping around our sensory garden. Um, he is so backed up. We had to wait forever just to get the bricks in because he does the bricks also. Um, we're hoping to have some kind of landscaping in there by the end of let's or the end of this summer season or the beginning of fall. We have till like November, if you really think about it. He can dig and do stuff all the way up to the beginning of November. So um, we're hoping to get that in this year. And then the garden, we have raised garden beds that are being made. Um, we probably won't get those in this year, but spring, those will be installed. So we're hoping to get the landscaping in to start making the path, I mean, the garden look a little more complete. And then we are working on getting the donors um, benches in that have already been paid for and been sitting. We just haven't had a chance to get all that stuff in with the construction and everything. Other than that, there's really no events coming up, unfortunately. I was hoping to maybe do our walk and roll, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Um, and we are looking at other things to do maybe with social distancing. So keep on the outlook for us still. There might be some stuff coming up. So that's about it. All right. Thank you, Sherry. Mm -hmm. um, 7B update on Fraser Fresh Farmers Market. Well, as uh, Christina said, we had uh, Market Saturday, uh, which was a lot better um, attended than July's. Um, we sold masks and raised $120. So that will be going towards the dog park. Uh, and our last market will be in September and we'll have additional, additional masks to sell there for um, Halloween and Christmas because this is, this is gonna be a long haul. Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh. September 1, I'm sorry, Nancy. Uh, September 12th. 12th, okay. Yeah. It was a, a great market. There was a lot of vendors there. Um, you had some new ones too, didn't you? Yes. Mm -hmm. So it was beautiful too. Two markets, beautiful weather. Mm. Yes. So, get back up there. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Nancy. Sorry. Talks back to you. Now she's going to sit there and squawk. <laughs> Don't look at me. <laughs> oh, so, yeah. So uh, looking forward to September. 
Awesome. I'm really bummed I couldn't make it. I passed out when I got home. Like I was falling asleep in the shower. That's how tired I was. <laughs> I had every intentions of going, but bright and early Saturday morning, my dog found a skunk. So, mm. yeah, we, I did not leave the house Saturday. I did Actually, a lot of. I to come to one of our new vendors, which had soy candles, which are smelled, smelled so great. <laughs> mm -hmm. I bought four. <laughs> I can still smell skunk. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <Lord. coughs> okay, moving it. <laughs> Moving on, item eight, overview report from Parks and Recreation Director. Yes, so I gave you all a copy of what I, I gave to the city manager and he's forwarded on to council of just a general update of what we've done so far this season. Um, like I said at the last meeting, uh, I realized that doing actual programming, first of all, it, seeing other cities, it's not going very well. Um, the virtual how it's great. It, it's not, it, it's, it's another barrier that I think people have to get over in, in order to participate in like these online uh, programs. So they're not, not as successful as, as I would like them to be. Um, and then without having any employees, it, it became a matter of how was I going to plan it and run it and do the registration for it. So it just, um, we're taking a break for, for this pandemic. And I, I think the best course of action is to see what the school's opening is going to do to the cases. Um, because I just have this feeling that with schools opening and, and more people getting together, we might see a huge, you know, boom, like we are in Georgia and Florida, and then things are going to have to be closed down again. So, um, I think we'll see very quickly how that is going to play out um, throughout the state. Um, and then we'll be able to come back after that. But I, I've all along this, this pandemic, I've, I've had the strict belief that um, our programs are important and I, I will you know, go to the grave saying that, but if, I, if we had somebody or you know, a bunch of kids or somebody get infected because of one of our programs, that's, I, I don't think that that is something I'm willing to risk. And, and I don't think that's something the city should be willing to risk either. So through all this, because of the layoffs and the furlough, furloughs, um, we have saved about $70,000 um, on our, our budget because you know if we don't have programming, we don't have personnel expenses, that's you know the bulk of what we, we have to pay for. So um, I guess getting back to it, um, we're gonna wait to see what happens with the schools reopening. I think we'll know pretty quickly, you know, if if it can be done successfully. We'll we'll see, you know, with students how them getting together and if there are increases. If there's not, then maybe we can, you know, start dipping our toes back into the water. Um, but at this time, we're still kind of hibernating and uh, just kind of keeping an eye on different cities, what they're doing, the, the governor keeping an eye on what <clears throat> her newest executive orders are and how that relates to things that we would do. And just praying that, that either we're gonna get a vaccine soon or, or that something's gonna happen that we're, we can feel safe um, bringing people together again. Um, so that is my, my update. Has Frazier decided what they're doing on schools? Right now, the school choices, as of right now, this might change on Monday when they have their board meeting. Um, K through six is face-to-face -face or all virtual. Seven through 12 is virtual, face-to-face, -face, or hybrid, which is half virtual, half face-to-face. -face. That is of right now. They're having a board meeting on Monday. I have a feeling that might change, and it's going to be virtual or hybrid only. I, I think it's, that's gonna, it's gonna be virtual for like the first month and a half. Yeah, I think because all the school districts around here are changing to virtual only after yeah. the other board meetings and ours is Monday. So I have a feeling the school board's gonna meet and that's, but we'll see. They did have practices for band and for cheerleading, um, of course, with masks and social distancing in smaller groups. which is kind of weird when you have to wear your mask until you pay, play your instrument. It doesn't, <laughs> but it worked out. The kids were all, like, they all showed up on their time slots. 
so. I think they just all want to get out of the house. And see right, their friends. right. So. And I give a lot of credit to Mr. Rogers at the high school. He, I mean, to manage that as a band, you don't have the band all together. You have the band in like seven to nine. You have these people this night, you know, different sections just to keep mm -hmm. everybody safe. It's a lot of work. So kudos to them. That's all I can say to make some kind of normalcy for these kids. Got my hair done today. And over by the beauty shop, there's um, a dance school. There was a tent set up and I looked at the tent and there's these wooden, just these wooden pieces on the ground. And I went, oh, that's where they're doing tap. Yeah, outside. <laughs> Did outside, they improvised, you know. Yeah. We have to keep some kind of normalcy as much as we can for these kids. I mean, really. I mean, that's more of a mental, I don't know. It's just, as a parent, it's not a fun time, right? I mean, right. for our kids at all. So. Not a fun time for me either. <laughs> no, you know. <laughs> I know. I got to be home with them all day. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, uh, moving on. Number nine, other business, 9A, discussion on the recreation position secretary, term ending June 30th, 2021. Yes, yeah, so we do need uh, somebody to fill the position of secretary. It is in the ordinance, uh, the city ordinance that's spelled out. So although I, 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 we will still have either myself or somebody in the recreation part, department do the minutes that is because I know it is a headache, um, especially if you do them well and you, you write everything out. So we will still do the, the minutes. Um, we will need somebody to be that secretary, secretary position um, to sign off on, on you know, all of our minutes. So with that, we're gonna do the same as we did last month and do nominations. There can be more than one nomination and you would either accept or deny that, and then there will be the actual motion for our secretary. We should ask if anyone wants to volunteer. <laughs> 9B, nominations for secretary. So, all right, taking a risk here. So I would like to nominate Commissioner Bogdan and the reason why is because I, well, not that it, I think everybody does a really good job paying attention to detail, but even ever since I came and interviewed with you guys, I've been really impressed with Commissioner Bogdan's attention to detail. And I think that he notices little things sometimes that I'm like, oh, I didn't think of that. So if you have to sign off on the minutes, you're checking them for accuracy. Yeah, that, that's my nomination. I turned it down last month. <laughs> I, I really don't. I really don't want. Um, I see his head going like this, but I can't hear anything. And I mean that. I'm not being sarcastic. Really? How's that? I'll speak up. Is that okay? Can you hear me now? You'll do it. No. <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, that was my piece. That was a good plea. Oh, okay. I can see it now. I really couldn't hear you. I wasn't being funny. <laughs> oh, I adjusted that. I'm sorry. It's okay. I call them as I see them. <laughs> Listen, if I gotta do this, someone has to be the secretary. <laughs> Nobody. Am I going to get drunk with power and just nominate someone? <laughs> I'm going to decree it, decree someone the secretary. Nobody we, we need a secretary. And it, it is, like I just said, I promise I, we will do the minutes. <laughs> you, you don't have to do the minutes. Okay, this is crazy. I will do it. I what mean, else? come on. I think everybody should get a chance to do something. And we've all, like I have did every, I think every position. But you know what? If no one else is going to be, we need a secretary, I will nominate myself. What is the responsibility? Let's see if I can turn my... I can hear you, David. Oh, what are the responsibilities other than the minutes and proofreading the agenda? Well, back in the day when, when I was secretary, <laughs> was I'm talking nothing. a long time ago, oh. the secretary actually held all the records for the recreation commission. They, 
they organized them. They kept copies of the agendas and they kept copies of the, of the minutes. Very the recreation good. department, for whatever reason, took that back over. And I have all, all of our minutes and agendas and everything filed. So really it's just a position. Um, it's a title, it's street cred. It's a, it's a formality. Besides <laughs> nomination of herself secretary. How's that? You're accepting it now? No. <laughs> I'm seconding <laughs> Sherry's nomination for herself for secretary. How's that? Oh. If she doesn't really mind. You know what? I'm I will donate my hundred dollar sidebar gift certificate to your next raffle. <laughs> I know that's bribery, but <laughs> right. no bribery here. No, I'll drop it off. I'm no, no, no. I'm not accept. Just went on record. I, told Cheryl. Okay. I will not accept. No, I already told Cheryl I was going to donate it, so I can't really do that. <laughs> Use it for leverage. No, I will. I will do it. I mean, I don't. I don't have a problem with it. Wonderful. I just feel like everybody should have some kind of position within the board. That's why I didn't. Oh, all right. Well, motion for secretary made by Commissioner Stein for Commissioner Stein to be the secretary <laughs> and seconded by Commissioner Bogdan. <coughs> So do we have to we have to make a motion to mm -hmm. someone has to do the motion. Okay. And it, it probably shouldn't be Sherry doing no, that. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make a motion. I'll make a motion to um appoint Sherry Stein as secretary for the position term ending June thirtieth, twenty twenty one. Thanks, Sherry. Okay. Sherry is always stepping up to the plate. <laughs> One of the busiest people I've ever met, and she's always there to step up. I just add another thing, it's okay. Uh, motion made by <laughs> Commissioner LaCasse and seconded by Commissioner Paletti. Um, we, do we all in favor for this? Right? Aye. All in favor? Okay. Yeah. Aye. Aye. Okay. All right. So that does that, that council right or no just we just have it it's just internal yeah yep so perfect we're good good <laughs> um item number 10 citizen participation i see one citizen <laughs> hi, hi laura hi it's laura lessage one five two zero one um, I want to commend you guys for continuing these meetings with such uh, fun and um, really getting down to the business of what needs to be done here. A um, couple things. I know uh, Christina mentioned that the, there's that much you can do with this pandemic and everything. But what about doing some virtual program contests um, with the holidays coming up? Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas. Um, we probably won't have our Christmas in Fraser, but having some virtual contests, maybe having um, design your own mask um, and, you know, get some recognition out there on Facebook or um, on the websites of all the different uh, creative ways of getting through this. You know, or maybe have a contest of write your favorite part about being at home with your parents during school. I don't know, something different to kind of stir it up. Um, and also with uh, not much happening in the uh, program area, I'd like to say, let's get, get started on your next plan for your next phase of your park improvements um, so that you're ahead of the game and you get the, the next parks in the plan for next spring and uh, you keep that moving forward for uh, the residents to know that you're not going to stop and we keep the council on mark that they have to um, not only care for the favorite parks of Pampo and Somerset but let's let's take care of all our residents and all the parks that are out there we were at a park today with my granddaughter and 
It was just sad. We're the only ones there because the, the equipment's falling apart. The only thing that she could do was just swing. So, I mean, there's so much that these kids need to do. And, and it's so nice to be outside during this time. And we are very fortunate. And our weather has been awesome this summer, despite everything else happening. Um, I think it's time to just keep plugging away here and keep up the great work. I appreciate every one of you. Um, and I'll, I'm here for you. How's that? <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Laura. Okay. I don't see any other citizens. So, uh, moving on number 11 commissioner commission members with concerns. Um, Commissioner Paletti. Uh, I'm just looking forward to having Somerset and Pompo finished and, and that's going to be awesome. And waiting for this COVID to be over so that we can move on with our lives. Second that. that. Okay. Uh, Commissioner Lacasse. Um, Going back to the Somerset Park and how Council uh, <clears throat> approved the colorful playground, which I think color is great, but I would like to see when we move forward with other parks, if we could get that natural look somewhere else. Maybe the park that's on 14, where, it's, where a lot of people can see it all the time, because yes. it's a very modern looking playground, and that's, it's just it's eye-catching. So it may not be colorful, but it's very modern and sleek. So just something to think about going forward. Yeah, and, that would be cool on 14 that, Mile. Yeah, yeah. And, and so the mm -hmm. thing that sucks is there's no parking there, but you know, you can park in a street and walk. Uh, everything, everything's walkable in Frazier for the most part. Right. Uh, but yeah, I hope everybody stays safe and wears your finger mask and keep your distance and yeah, getting sick of this. It's old, very old. <laughs> I want to see people in person, so hopefully mm -hmm. soon. But I'm gonna hug you all when I see you guys. So. <laughs> oh no, I don't hug, so I'll hug, I'll like air hug. <laughs> okay, I'll hug all of you <laughs> in my scrubs. I think that is a threat. <laughs> uh, Commissioner Stein, I'll pass on that. Thanks. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't, I'm excited about the parks, and I agree with Laura. Um, Laura we do need to keep on working on those parks plans so we can bring those to council at the end of, you know, winter time. So maybe by spring, we can start working on other parks. Um, everybody stay safe. I am getting really sick of this stuff too. Um, but we just got to keep on trucking through. Um, and we'll get through the other side. And one day we'll look back at this and go, oh my God, I can't believe we survived it. So, <laughs> Michigan Anders, is that the mm -hmm. saying right now? <laughs> Even though I'm not too thrilled, but. Yeah. So. Can I just, um, just so that when I'm preparing the agenda for next month, is this yeah. something that we would like to put on the agenda to talk about coming up with plans yeah. for other parks? I think but so. If you remember, this, this whole project um, started with council having extra funds and they directed us to start looking at it. This would kind of be us telling them or us advising them that this is what we need to do. And it may, yep. I, I'm not sure how that would go because I haven't done it in a while. Um, so is that something we still wanna, wanna do is put that on the agenda for next month and talk about maybe parks that might need it yep. and what we Yeah, I think so. Sure, that's what we can do, say no. I mean, we're all <laughs> And now kind of seeing how it, uh, how everything shook out this time uh and we were all pretty much from what i recall on board with the natural look but we kind of gave them the options i think next time we maybe just say this is the one we think and these are the reasons why and then have them come back and reject that at that point but i mean if we all feel so strongly that that one was the best and we are the advisory board to them and it was cheaper too so yeah i think we just kind of you know that what I would recommend for next time. And also I think if we, the residents are gonna see the parks that are worked on and see how great they are, they're gonna want them 
to work on the rest of the park. So we kind of have to nudge it along and force their hand. We have to. Agreed. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Can we do, um, well, we could talk about this next time too, but I was just thinking about what Laura said and just other things that we can do that are on, like we have like a virtual grand opening or something for the parks. Mm. Um, yeah. You know, and we could like, like broadcast live. live, right? From the park and post your pictures from the new park. And yes. Yep. Something That's like that. Um, okay. Commissioner Bagden, any concerns? I had the same concern about that Dana had about sending our recommendation to the city council and having it have them go a completely different direction. Um, that's not a big concern. My bigger concern is you guys out there uh, and this COVID virus and y'all all have, well, most of you have kids that are gonna be going back to school and I just hope you all stay safe. Um, and I am looking forward to riding my bicycle and the people at Frazier uh, bike shop would be interested in sponsoring and helping with something for the seniors. Um, so I'm going to have to get together with Nick and find out what he wanted to do with Frazier's sidewalks because he said they are moving forward on fixing things. And because I do ride my bike, uh, if you take a Google look at Frazier, and go to the satellite view, you'll see what I complain about. Uh, if you go try to go up and down Utica, 15 mile, Hayes, Garfield. 14 mile. 14 mile, any of them. Uh, well, 13 mile I think is pretty good, but I would have to go like a mile out of my way. And that's, that adds quite a bit to a bike. Mm -hmm. But I'll have to find out what he's doing to improve our connectability um, in our city. And that yeah. gives people with bicycles and walking the ability to go to other parks besides the closest community park. Um, like go to McKinley from where I am. Mm -hmm. Kids have to drive, ride their bikes across lawns and <laughs> yes, through parking lots to uh, get there unless they want to ride on Hayes or Utica Road or one of the mile roads. Um, it would be Get nice through their cars. Connected. So that, that's kind of my concerns. But I'm yeah. looking to this all being over and get back to normal. I'm done. Uh, all right, Commissioner Barubi, any concerns? Um, yeah, I was questioning. Have you heard anything, Christina, about the um, Oktoberfest at all? Has it been canceled? There were a couple of. Um, fire um, guys, that firemen that stopped by the, the market and we were talking and they hadn't heard. And they said mm -hmm. they hear from, from council or from, from the city. Well, remember that's two, two kind of things that melded into one. It was the firefighters open house, which the firefighters are all, that's what they do. I have right. no control right. of that. And then the, what do we call it? The fall fest, which the recreation did. And traditionally, we would have started on that already. So, uh, like I said, I don't think that we're going to be back to normal by that time. Um, I have hope for Christmas, but you, you, you don't know. I don't know. Um, so, I guess I can go on record and say that we will not do anything for Fall Fest. Um, because, I mean... To do it the way that we have been doing it, I mean, we would already have a lot of things in place. But as far as the firefighters, I don't know, Sarah, if you've heard anything. <coughs> no. Okay. I would I would venture to guess that it's probably. I was going to no. say I, I would I would assume that too. You know. Um, okay, Commissioner Sutherland, any concerns? No concerns. I did go to the farmer's market this weekend, which shame on me is the first time that I've ever been to the Frazier farmer's market. But um, my daughter and I went and we had a great time. We bought a lot of soaps and um, body scrub and vegetables and mm -hmm. um, a candle that I burned down in one day because it smelled so good. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we get? 
it was the what's it called neg nag champa it's like an oh. incense smell oh. um I love but that. i have a friend who burns that incense so when i smelled the candle i was like this smells like my friend's house and their house always smells amazing so but yeah i burned it down in one day so i have to message her and get more but it was really nice um and we had a really good time at the farmer's market and i'm looking forward to going again next time um i meant to like pipe up some of my goods that I bought maybe on enough. Um, it's still not too late for me to do that. Maybe I can do my burned out candle because it's gone. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was a lot of fun. We had a really good time. So I'm glad that I went. Um, looking forward to going next time. And then, you know, I don't know, it really struck me what Laura said. So I'm going to definitely, I think, take some time before our next meeting to think of things that we maybe can do. Um, virtually you know especially because you know with like halloween coming up and if you know we don't have oktoberfest i know one thing my daughter's already talking about is halloween i haven't had the chance to break it to her that probably not gonna go trick-or-treating this year <laughs> um but you know what i always think about is i don't know who lives there but is the house on fruhoff with daisy the dog you know i'm talking about like the saint bernard mm -hmm. statue right on Fruhoff, oh, yeah. and they dressed it up in all different kinds of outfits. I mean, we'd, we'd have to find out who lives there and coordinate it, see if they're interested. But one thing I was thinking just off the top of my head is like, you know, and I don't want to kill the coloring contest thing, even though my kids love the ice cream cone of Dairy Maid. So thank you, Sherry, because that was awesome. Um, <laughs> but like some sort of like contest to like, if kids can't dress up, like dress up Daisy. You know what I mean? So like, mm -hmm. I feel like she's almost like the unofficial Frasier mascot. So like, right. how would you dress up Daisy for Halloween? You know what I, I mean? Something, you know what I mean? Kind of like that things that we can do to get the community involved. And I mean, I had to explain it a little bit, but we all know who that dog is. So <laughs> that's a good idea. It's cute. Um, but yeah, so I just want I'm going to take what Laura said to heart and try to come up with some other things too, to kind of, you know, I don't know, spread some cheer throughout the holidays if we're all going to be at home. And we've already decided to do online school. So it's going to be an interesting fall. So mm -hmm. <laughs> actually with Daisy, it's really rough down that road. Right um, now on Fruhoff. Yeah. Well, I just mean like make a coloring page of Daisy. Okay. Like not actually dress her up, but like get a gotcha. coloring page of Daisy. You know what I mean? Put it on the website. We'd have to obviously, and I volunteer to, you know, go to their house and talk to them if this is something that we wanted to pursue to be like, hi, I'm crazy. We'd like to pretend to color your dog. Um, but I mean, like, make a coloring page and then let kids, you know, color on the, the coloring page of Daisy, like what they would dress Daisy up as for Halloween. Because the people who have Daisy obviously always dress her up for things. Since most of the kids are going to be, well, I shouldn't, I, I, I'm taking it that they're probably going to be Zooming, not doing actual classes. Okay. So right. possibly, come here, mm -hmm. if she'd be back, um, maybe you could do the coloring contest and then have a set time to do a Zoom and have them come in and show their pictures. Yeah. And maybe have a couple of judges or something. Yeah, we could do that. We could, um, if the kids have like an email address, right, where they could all submit their coloring pages to, like we could show them. We could have judges. You know, we have. I'm sure we could probably come up with some kind of a budget for first, second, and third, you know, place um, for prizes. If not, we'll figure something out. But you know, I think things like that. I don't, it, I, don't, I know that my, at least, well, my son's getting kind of old and cool for it, but my daughter would like it, so. <laughs> Some Halloween masks. Right. Oh. Or this one. Somebody can dress <laughs> her up as a cat. <laughs> this is the one I'm working on now. That's cute. There you go. Uh, before I go, Commissioner Bagnon, you had your hand up. Did you still want to say that? Other, are there any other options? For online meetings besides Zoom that the city has, does anybody know? Or is this our only option? Zoom? Yeah. There'd be Zoom or Facebook Live. Okay. That, you don't have Microsoft Meeting? No, I, I 
if it's anything like Zoom, you have to pay for it if it's like a certain size or a certain amount of time. And I know that the city has a paid subscription for Zoom. So so that's what okay. we would use. Thank you. Okay. Um, I don't really have any concerns, but I was, I kind of had like this random idea. Um, you were talking about the seniors and how they sometimes only see the bus driver and that's the only person they see. I saw something on Facebook where they were having like pen pails for people. Yes, it was in a home, but I would love to, to write to everybody. I know I did. I really <laughs> did want to write to everybody. Um, but I mean, I would like to, I would like to see something like that set up for our seniors. I know it's going to be kind of hard because they're not like in a nursing home, but mm -hmm. I mean, they don't have any interaction either. You know, right. I'd, I'd write to them. I'd have my kids draw pictures for them. You know? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> And again, I don't know how to get in contact. I know you guys have like a list of like members, um, mm -hmm. senior center, but I don't even know how we would get that, get that to them or, you know, if they'd be even interested in it. So. Yeah. I mean, that would, the, the thing that I would think would work best is if we just go through Kelly at the senior housing because they are, they're there, you know, um, the other thing we could do is, uh, like when Kurt goes to pick up people, we could do something. Let me talk to Kurt and see what, if he's comfortable with that and, um, get something together with a few of these and we'll see what we can do. Okay. Commissioner LeCasse. Sorry, really quick about the coloring contest for Daisy, if we can get on board with that. It would be cool to invite the kids that did them to come to the parks meeting and, and bring them up on Zoom during the parks meeting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, well, yeah, very good. That'd be fun. Yeah, I like that idea too. Um, other than that, I don't think I have any concerns other than I hope I did okay running a meeting today. Fabulous. You did a great <laughs> job. I was cool. nervous. I like practice all day. Is that weird? Kind no, of. No, because all day I was like, please <laughs> let Sarah be there. I haven't practiced. <laughs> please let her be there. <laughs> I was like, oh, I've been, I've, I, I got a thumbs up. I've been to meetings before, so I mean, I should know how to, this, how this goes, right? And I was like, well, like, do you pay just attention pretend to you're Cheryl. Meeting? Just pretend you're Cheryl. Right. Just pretend you're Cheryl. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, and then my only other thing is I hope they, they find that missing teen that was at McKinley yes. Park that disappeared from. Yeah. I just read that story. And I was like, well, that's kind of scary. Other than that, that's it. I'm happy to run this meeting. I'm not showing up the next time so Dana can do it. <laughs> like Cheryl. <laughs> I'll be like Sarah. <laughs> All right, um, item number 12. Uh, I'd like to call the Parks and Rec Commission meeting to an end at 7.51 p.m. I did it. <laughs> so we have Kelly... And then this, was there a second? I'll second. A second. Seconded by Commissioner Paletti. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Everybody stay safe. Stay safe, everybody. Bye, guys. Bye, Bye guys. Bye. See ya. Bye.